What is the one piece of advice you would give a new mama? Are you going to be intimate with your hubby, with your newborn in the room next to you? How to be mentally prepared for birth. Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> Today we have the one and only Milena Ciciotti with Hello. her brand new, fresh out of the womb. Potato. Potato angel. We're gonna be doing a little TMI Q&A about pregnancy and birth, etc. And even if you're not in the season, some of these questions I feel like are just, just good to know. Yeah, they're good in general. And for the boys watching. Informative. Of what formative. Could probably happen. Yes, to you one day. And maybe it'll give you some empathy for, for what the women in your life. I'll give y'all a little bump update <laughs> before we start. Chad's yeah, been laughing moving, at me. What? <laughs> because he says that I'm moving so slow. And I know, you look pregnant. Funny. I like look. You like. You can tell you're pregnant without seeing your belly. I'm like doing the, the waddle a little bit. But y'all, look at this. It really has popped. Like in the last Even two weeks. Even just from like the day you got here to now. Like I feel like it's gotten bigger. Yeah. 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 He's moving, grooving, punching me at night, mm -hmm. but it's so much fun. Like I don't ever wake up at night from like a little kick and be like, oh, I'm annoyed. I'm like, oh, yeah. hey buddy, what you doing? But anyways, that's how the Lord preps you for waking up in the middle of the night. That's what people keep saying. I'm like, oh, praise God for a pregnancy pillow. But when we've been traveling, I've been trying to use like different pillows in different places and stuff. And it's just, no. it's not the same. It's because I was a stomach sleeper before and I'm- I need to give you my pillow. I have a pillow so you can sleep on your belly. <laughs> oh my gosh, the big one. Yeah, the big one, it's huge. <laughs> And I would never sleep with it like all night, but it is like, nice to just for a like nap or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like right before you go to bed. Okay, like, for, remind me to give it to you. For those of you who don't know, it's like this massive. It looks like an inflatable, almost like pool float. Yes, but it's like really high. It's really <laughs> it high, through. and it has just like a huge hole in it, and for you your can just lay right in there. So. Um, okay, first question is: Is having sex during pregnancy uncomfortable? <laughs> so no, it's not uncomfortable. I feel like that is a, one of the biggest questions that was in there is like, what trimester is the best? Like, how did sex change during pregnancy, etc.? Mm -hmm. And I will say that it changed. Like, first trimester, I think I told you this because I saw you first trimester. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. were traveling so much that it was tough because I would get really sick in the mornings and really sick at night. And during my prime, like middle of the day, we were always around with, around people. So it definitely was like an adjustment. And because yeah. I didn't feel very good, it just was not like the first thing on Chad or my mind. Second trimester. And did I not tell you that? Didn't I say that yes. second trimester is like things the change. redemption? Is redemption. Yeah. yeah, things are different. And I'll talk about that a little bit more. Like I'm gonna do a full blown like second trimester recap, recap video. But I will say, no, it's not uncomfortable. But now that I'm getting bigger, things do happen. That's why I keep telling. Okay, like, so this <laughs> pregnancy, yes, with her. So this is my third. For the other ones, like second trimester, everything was great. But towards the third trimester with my other ones, mm -hmm. I started to notice I was more uncomfortable. Yeah. But I worked out the most in this pregnancy and stayed the most active. That like yeah. after the side, second trimester, like third yeah. trimester, it kept like getting better and better and better. Wow. And we were like having sex. I almost had her at 30 or 42 really? weeks. No, wait, late. 42. Oh, so yeah, I went yeah. past and we were yeah. still dang getting it, mama. Yeah. Yeah. Love that. And it was, I definitely feel like, because I didn't lose my flexibility or mobility. Yeah. Like yeah. I felt comfortable. And, and that's like something we've been talking about a lot. Like since I've been here is I've really gotten off of my like workout routine since being pregnant because yeah. I was so sick first trimester. Mm -hmm. And a quote that Jordan said was like, the less you do, the less you do. And the more you do, the more you do. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like that's so true with me and like working, working out. out. And that's just always been the case. It's like the more I work out, the more I love it, the more mm -hmm. I want to go, the better routine I'm in. And the yeah. less I work out and the more I get out of it, it's mm -hmm. so much harder to like get back and get, get started. Yeah. So I like have to get back into the rhythm of it because I always feel so much better when I do. And I know it'll be better for birth too, like getting yes. my body ready. Are you going to be intimate with your hubby, with your newborn in the room next to you? Okay, <laughs> I want to hear what you would think uh -huh. Or like, if you've even thought about that, yeah. or if you, what you would think you would do, or like, yeah. I just want to hear first. Yeah. I feel like if the newborn was like in the bassinet and asleep, 
Mm-hmm. It wouldn't like bother me as much. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the newborn's like awake and like I can see <laughs> like like, oh, like what's hung. happening. Uh-huh. And then I would feel uncomfortable. Yeah. I feel like you have to think of it like a dog. Like, are you okay with yeah. having sex with your? Well, you guys don't have a dog, have but like, dog. if you have a dog, like, would you be okay with your dog being in there? Because it's kind of similar in the sense because yeah. they're like there and you know they're there, but they're not really paying attention. And they to don't you. really like know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. But for yeah. us, I feel like if the baby's sleeping, we'll like go into a separate room. Yeah, just go somewhere else. Yeah, just because yeah. it, especially if it's like one of the very first times and that after like, giving birth. Be quiet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Y'all, we said to you, I'm okay. <laughs> well, she'll sleep through anything. So, That's true. Um, but uh, yes, that yeah. and because sometimes they will stir, and I feel like yeah. if you're in the middle of it, that's a it really might, like, good mood killer. Yes. So, so even true. they'll like stir but not wake up. So yeah. if you're in a separate room and they're stirring, it's fine because they go yeah. back to sleep and yeah, not really your like mood isn't about it. ruined. Okay, yeah. there it is. There it is. <laughs> um, okay, y'all had a lot of questions about sex. I feel yeah. like y'all just know that we're open to talking about it. Yeah. And they're like, let's just throw all the sex yep. questions at y'all. That's fine. Um, okay, do you really wait six weeks after birth to have sex? I did. Yeah. With Alethea, I waited almost like at least eight weeks because yeah. I had third degree stitching and I remember my I had internal stitching. We tried around six weeks and it I remember was it was just so painful. Yeah. So painful. Like it just felt raw and like yeah, just we, I just need more time. Yeah. Ari I think I was able to at six weeks. Yeah. With her, I'm two weeks and I would already, but yeah. I'm not because I'm still bleeding, but And because you didn't tear. And I didn't tear. We'll get to that. There's yeah. some there's some questions about tearing, so yes. and I do feel like it's like you get cleared to do that stuff too. Yeah, right? like yeah. your like midwife or your doctor. Like, yeah, and it's just depend- yeah, like on the bleeding and like the, how things are looking. Everyone, yeah. every pregnancy will be different. Yeah, right? every body is different. Yeah, I don't know this answer. So this is a Melina question. Mm-hmm. Do contractions feel like bad period cramps? They do, but like all over because your uterus mm. is like everywhere all of that yeah yeah and it depends on the positioning of the baby because i had back labor with ari so it didn't right. feel like period cramps it felt like mm. back pain yeah well yeah. i guess some women do get bad back pain when they have mm-hmm. their cramps too so mm-hmm. i feel like yeah that's a pretty good but like to the extreme yeah yeah and like the waves of them mm-hmm. it's a it kind of gives you yeah. an idea yeah but it's it's I was telling Melena that since I was a kid, I've always had, like, really bad stomach issues. Like, yeah. it was, like, I almost would say, like, my time with the Lord as a kid because I would, like, sit on the toilet and just pray because it was so terrible. Ugh. And it would come in waves where my mom yeah. would, like, come in and rub my back and, like, have to get me, like, a cold cloth. And it would, like, contract and it would be super painful. And then it would, like, release. And then I'd, like, have a couple minutes. And then it would, like, happen again. Yeah. And, like, so literally since I was 12, I'm, like, I think the Lord's just preparing me to have babies later because I don't see how this could get much worse because I'd be like in fetal position like yeah I'm curious to see like what you would describe it as yeah I'm very very curious I think that's also why I'm not carrying a ton of fear when it comes to like actually giving birth is because I'm like very used to like really bad periods and really bad stomach issues and really bad back (laughs) and so I'm like oh sounds Mm -hmm. like a Thursday (laughs) We'll see. No, 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 no. We'll I'm, I'm, I'm being dramatic, <laughs> but I'm like, I just don't feel, I'm like very comfortable with the idea that oh. like it's going to be painful, but yeah. the reward is so worth it. Yeah, and it's like, when my stomach just hurts for no reason, it's just painful. That, that is very But true. there is like light at the end yes. of the tunnel. It's yeah. like, with it's every the biggest... pain, it, there's like, I'm getting closer to being That's very baby. true. Like every contraction, you're like, I know I'm one step yeah. closer. Yeah, That's very true. Actually There's like no reward like that. Yes, exactly. But with the stomach ache, you just got to just poop at the end. You just so. got to just put it out. <laughs> uh, okay, speaking of, how to be mentally prepared for birth? Yeah, I feel like this time mentally, I feel like it was more so like educating myself on the process yeah. of birth, how natural birth really is, and like yeah. the things that have to happen in yeah. order for this to happen. Especially because I went past to do. Right. I started looking into like, okay, well, like what even has puts you into labor? Yeah. Like what hormones have to be released? What yeah. What are the steps? Like I knew like your yeah. cervix has to die. Like I like knew those things, but I was like, okay, what, what actually makes triggers pass? Like what? Yeah. Why? Like, is there something wrong? Yeah. So I felt like just informing myself on facts was yeah. really helpful because then mentally I was like, my body mm-hmm. knows what it's doing. There's no point of me controlling it. The Lord is yeah. in control of this. So yeah. I just need to surrender to that. 
Yeah, I started doing this little like birth course online. She's a Christian woman. She's talking about like how perfectly our bodies are designed to do this mm -hmm. and how literally with every contraction, like your uterus is made up of muscles that go horizontally and vertically and they start moving up and around your baby to literally help push your baby down mm -hmm. and your baby will actually push off of those muscles to like help get down That's and it's so just like cool. wild to think that all of this is like happening I and God like that. designed it in that way and then she was talking about there's this exercise like if you just do this with your hands for like five minutes mm -hmm. and then you put like one hand up here and you do one hand like down here where like blood flow is coming to the bottom hand but you're losing blood flow up here mm. this one will start to get a lot harder to actually like continue to do this like mm. just uncomfortable it's because you're losing blood flow mm. but this one's getting the blood so it won't get uncomfortable mm. and she says with our uterus when we're contracting you want blood flow here but when yeah. you're going into it with fear your body actually releases a chemical that puts you in fight or flight mode, yeah. like adrenaline. And so your blood goes from your uterus. Oh, oh. somewhere else. Are you okay? It's like, it's bringing me back to being She's in the like, I was there. This is a little while ago. <laughs> it actually brings blood from your uterus to your hands and your feet. Because fight or flight mode is like, oh, I need to like punch something, in something or run away. And so it makes the fear will literally make. Wait, that's probably why the people. combs weren't a thing for me. Mm -hmm. So I just shared my birth story on her podcast. So yes. she'll I'll link it. Below. it. As for me in my house. But the one of the tricks that a lot of people told me was to use combs mm -hmm. to like counter pressure and to like kind of take yeah. away from the pain. Yeah. But I actually found that really hard ineffective for me like sure it like made the pain go away but I wasn't able to relax my body and I felt like the only thing I wanted to do was, was like go relax. limp yeah and I couldn't go limp if I was doing contracting, contracting here interesting and that like kind of makes sense because yeah. it was probably yeah. like putting blood flow here mm -hmm. instead of there and how like mental it is and like how many verses there are about like fear versus faith and like mm -hmm. peace, etc. And like leaning on the Prince of Peace because when you go into labor with a peaceful mindset and you're like meditating on scripture and like the way God designed. And so like when you know what's going on, like focusing on like what's actually happening in your body to like make this thing work, mm -hmm. then you release oxytocin. Yeah. And that is like the most natural form of like pain, pain relief mm -hmm. yeah and so it will make it like a much more enjoyable experience if you mm -hmm. go in with peace versus fear yeah and we live in a society that pushes fear mm -hmm. so much and it's like of course like the world doesn't want us expanding our families it's like very much against like the nuclear family mm -hmm. and so it's like well if we can make women super fearful of this yeah. you know then mm -hmm. like the enemy or wins. feeling like incapable yes and it's like no we've literally been built to do this and it's like mm -hmm. when you look at all the different like animals who give birth like they never question whether they can do it or not no. it's just instinctual they just yeah do it right mm -hmm. and so but somehow we've you know let the enemy get in our minds like yeah. oh i don't know if i can do it and it's like mm -hmm. no you can't like you're yeah. actually like built for it which is yeah, crazy you're very capable this is a good one because i feel like this goes beyond just birth and just into any type of like plan you have for your life in general yep. how to have a birth plan while still giving god full control over your birth yes i think <laughs> i really had just yeah. like struggled with this one just because it was my third baby i had yeah. my previous baby at 38 weeks yeah i had her a day short of 42 so that yeah. is an entire month that's really crazy and it's such a mental game just yeah. i like in my head was just ready to go earlier yeah and was just ready to have her sooner and it and just made you feel like you're so much later because yes. I felt like you were so late. Yeah, but I you know, wasn't. But you really weren't. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. feel like I. if you're pregnant right now, like, expect to go to, late. <laughs> like, 43 weeks. Yeah. Like, towards the end, yeah. my midwife was coming over. I was like, I'm going to be 30 or 45 weeks pregnant. Like, yeah. jokingly, just, like, obviously yeah. that wouldn't happen. Right. But just, like, to putting it in your hair. Yes, because yeah. then if she comes any sooner, I'm like, happy. Great. Yes. We did it. Yeah. During those, like, four very long weeks, yeah. it was just such a mental thing of, like, starting 
returning it to the Lord and giving it to him and knowing yeah. that I literally have no control and it's so funny because you do think that you do or like yeah. you want to think that you do and the whole yeah. reason why I even wanted to have a home birth was to not yeah. plan and yeah. to like let things naturally unfold yeah. and like yeah. come in his timing and the, yeah. the day that she came was the perfect day for her to come. Mm -hmm. And I, had I interfered in any other way, I feel like it yeah. probably would have been a totally different yeah. story. Yeah. And probably not the birth that I have wished. So yeah. I'm just so thankful for his patience during that time. Yeah. And just allowing yeah. my body to do what it needed to do. Yeah. And she shares, like, because she had the two hospital births and then she had the home birth. And you yeah. share all that on that podcast, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. And okay. just like the mental game too. Because I was yeah. having prodominal labor at 37 weeks. So it was like yeah. five weeks of like thinking You're I was going go. into labor. Yeah. And she wasn't the only girlfriend of mine who was having that. Ugh, and yeah. I was literally having like bets with Chad of like Ugh. which friend is going to have baby first, which yeah. is just so funny and, and so cool. Okay. This is a cute one. I love this one. What is the one piece of advice you would give a new mama? Before or after the baby comes? After baby comes. Oh. Well, I don't know. Like, what, what's the biggest piece of advice so much advice. That would be, like, a whole video. I know. That would be a really good video, actually. Yeah, there's so much I would say. What Just because it's so fresh. Yeah. Oh, I don't even if know. If y'all want that. <laughs> Just. That's, yeah. Maybe a whole video. Yeah. But. Okay, let me make it tailored towards you. Okay. Enjoy and hold your baby all you want. Mm. Like, don't feel just because someone comes over, you need to like hand them over to them. Yeah. Because you're meeting your baby for the first time too. Yeah. Like, yeah, you know he's in there, but you're yeah. finally putting a face to, to what's, yeah. what's in there. Yeah. And so it's like so nice for you to finally be like, oh, this is this who is you are. Baby. Like, I yeah. know you now. Yes. And it's really nice. And so don't feel like you have to because mm -hmm. he knows you in your yeah. home because he yeah. knows your scent. Like, he knows your yeah. voice. He knows who you are. Yeah. Anyone else, yeah. he doesn't. Yeah. You know? Even yeah. Chad. Yeah. Like, he'll probably recognize Chad's voice, but, like, it's really important for you to bond with him first. Yeah. That's so special. I remember you saying that a while back, and I, like, talked to Chad about that, too, because... I do feel like there's like the people pleaser side of me where yeah, I'm like, that's how oh, I am. like, of course, like, you know, whatever. But I'm yeah. also like, you know, we've prayed over this baby so long and oh, like hoped for this gosh. baby for so long. And it's like, I don't want to miss out on those like sweet moments. And I remember mm -hmm. you saying like a lot of times when people come over right after baby's born and baby mm -hmm. starts crying and they want to take baby to yeah. like come help. Hurt. And it's like, no, no, baby like wants mama. Mm -hmm. Like you could help do the dishes or fold the laundry <laughs> yeah. or like there's other things that could be yeah. really That would mama. be really helpful to you. Yes. Yeah. And so like, I think just knowing that in advance to be able to like prep people and prep family if yeah. when you are walking just into that new the new season. But yeah, like, hey, like, this this is the baby that I've carried for, you know, a long time. And, like, I really want to spend time with this baby, too, like, mm -hmm. et cetera. And yeah. so for all of you out there about to walk into that, great advice. Next question is how do you avoid tearing? I, question. Yeah, I feel like everyone's afraid of that. Just, yeah. Which is a good thing to be afraid yeah, of. Yeah, it's like a normal fear. Yes. And with my other two I tore for both of them this was the first one that I didn't tear and recovery yeah. is just what was so different? much easier well like I can pee and not be crying yeah you know like yeah I can pee and go to the bathroom in like under a minute whereas yeah. before it was like a whole five minute ordeal and I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself because I needed yeah. like assistance like yeah it's so different just because it's it's such a delicate yeah. area and you have yeah. to like pee yeah well, what did you do differently for like pre yes. like before birth that like helped? I did pelvic floor. I went to a pelvic oh, floor specialist. Yeah. So I actually did an entire video like sharing like how I've prepped mentally and physically okay. just because I did have scar tissueing that I like was actively working on with like yeah. period, perineal massages and stuff and yeah. going to PT was super helpful. And then I think having just a home birth because yeah. I wasn't actively told when to push like mm -hmm. I pushed when I wanted to push when and when my body ready. felt right yeah. yeah even the ring of fire like did yeah. not that wasn't like a thing I know everyone wow. talks about ring of fire I did yeah. not feel that like yeah. my breathing was very controlled in that yeah. moment yeah um, did you feel it with the other two the ring of fire 
No, because I had an epidural. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just felt mm-hmm. pressure. Okay. I didn't got yeah. to actively feel that. So I think that alone and being in water was super helpful. Yeah. Just like, I feel like it was just a combination yeah. of all these things. Yeah. So definitely like prep the vagina. Yeah. So I feel like this would be a good time to just like let people know <laughs> that I feel like everyone's kind of gotten the hint because on Instagram I've shared like, oh, the midwife is at our house and everything oh. else. Oh. But like... Yes, the answer to your question is yes. We are planning to do a home birth if everything goes, you know, smoothly and there's no risk and everything else. Yeah. The hope and the prayer is that we can do it at home in a bath. So there I'm it so is. excited for you. There it I'm is. I'm so excited for you. <laughs> we are very excited. And it's been really cool because we've had a lot of friends, you know, go through it recently. And yeah. everyone has just, like, loved their experience. And so, yeah. for me, I get, like, super anxious in hospitals. They're just, like, not a comforting environment for me. Mm-hmm. And I actually, like, recently went into a hospital with a friend who was going into a labor. And I, like, immediately just felt so anxious. Mm. And so, for me, it's, like, knowing myself... I'm yep. going to be much more relaxed in an environment that we, like, can have worship music in and, like, control and I'm, I feel comfortable. Yeah. And you guys have seen our home. You've seen our bathroom. Like, if you haven't... It's, like, the can, perfect spot. Yeah, you can watch those videos. But, like, it really, I feel like, was, like, built for that. And the midwives mm-hmm. are, like, excited. And so we're excited. So there that is. Okay, this one is definitely a little TMI. <laughs> I'll say that. Discharge throughout pregnancy. Yes. <laughs> yes. I feel like I need a panty liner. <laughs> like, yeah. It, just, it's, it, just, it, it just like it just is what it is. I yeah. thought that I've peed myself and then when I go to the bathroom and it's just Yeah. Discharge. I'm like, wow. Okay, great. Yep. Another question was like, have you peed yourself during pregnancy? And have you? Yes. Really? But not just like, oh no, I'm peeing myself. It was like I sneeze. Oh. And like a little. Tinkle. Oh, okay. okay. Like a little, a little. Yeah, a little bit came out. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. I just remember how funny it was when Gabe was posting that stuff of Jess. And I feel like it happened to me so early, like 24 weeks or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, why is this already happening? And as it's happening, Chad's like sending it to Jess and Gabe, and they're like, Aww. yes. And I'm like. Cool, Love guys. That. There's we're here. You're peeing yourself. Love it. Okay, we're going to end on this question because we asked the boys, yeah. and I feel like little Nugget might want some milk. <laughs> yeah, about just, that let's time. see. Let's see because it's let's always so accurate. Timer. It's right, literally right on key. <laughs> I feed her every hour and 30 minutes, like to, to the, the dot, tea. and it's an hour and 33 33. minutes. Like she said, oh, oh. Okay, we will answer this real quick, and then we'll wrap up. Does your hubby seeing birth affect his feelings towards sex afterwards we asked jordan that jordan said no (laughs) it did not at all i feel like he if anything he's like so excited he's like dude like that was so cool yeah he like (laughs) has more respect and love for you after like watching you walk through that for your family yeah exactly i love that i'll be curious to see what chad says I know, I know. Probably the same thing, but I mean, I'm you sure. never know. He yeah. might be like, whoa, I didn't know I could do that. that. You know, Chad has a <laughs> gag reflex, so. <laughs> There's that. <laughs> you Chad might want to push the baby out on, through. like, how I did, like, on all fours, so he can't, yeah, like, he really, can't, like, really see it. Yeah. I do feel like that's, like, what makes the most sense in general. Yeah. Okay. That is all for today. We hope that y'all are informed. And encouraged, mm-hmm. and all of the things are so worth it because you get this sweet angel <laughs> bundle at the end. That's all. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.